For music, motorcycles, and a museum debut, there is just something going on for everybody. That's right. Matt Pittman is a video columnist, and he's the man behind Matt About Jax. I am. Welcome. No selfie stick today. <laughs> We're good. We're going to be safe. Yeah, right. It's well, going to be fun. Um, okay, so speaking of traffic, when I was driving into the station oh, today, yeah. hello, Fair warning. detour. That's right. Don't head downtown unless you plan on having a good time. The Jacksonville Jazz Fest kicked off last night, and it's going through this weekend. Today at 5, you can head down. Three big stages, including one at the landing. You're going to see a ton of jazz artists. There will be beer, all kinds of good stuff. And it's free. That's what's great. So you can walk around and have a good time. There is VIP options available. So if you want preferred seating or, you know, get all the hookups that you get with VIP, you can do that. I think that starts out at around like 175 bucks. So the perks better be good. Yeah, but right. you can go. That's a lot for VIP, but we're yep. VIP girls. So. But it's good. So if you want to do that, but remember this, there is going to be a lot of bands on the stages and then there's jazz. Jazz After Dark, where a bunch of the restaurants and bars downtown are actually doing their own jazz thing. So the party doesn't have to end. Like tonight, it stops at 11 on the stages, but you can continue into the night. Be safe, Uber, cab, do all that kind of stuff. Have a designated driver, but enjoy a good time. You can go to jacksjazzfest.com to get a lineup. A ton of the bands, and Fantasia is in town. You may remember her oh, from American yeah. Idol. Well, she's actually doing a performance in the Florida Theater. You do have to buy tickets to that. It's right around $40, and as of this morning, Still tickets available. That's tonight, so you're gonna want to purchase some now. Oh, she was one of yeah. my favorites. Yeah, yeah that's cool. so there you go. You, how do you go it's wrong a with a name like Fantasia? Yeah, yeah. Like, and seriously, Jazz Fest. To be a star. Yeah. Jazz Fest is so huge and it's great here for Jacksonville. So jacksjazzfest.com for details. Okay, and then something for the little ones. Oh, you can still come to downtown well, if it's, it's not Jazz Fest. That's right. It's a holiday weekend, so I know a bunch of families are going to be out and about. You're heading to Disney. Well, lucky me. Lucky you. <laughs> if you are staying in town, you can actually go over to the Museum of Science and History. Mosh is better known. Uh, Dinosaurs Unearthed is here. It's going to be running through September 7th. But like I said, the kickoff day is tomorrow. All inspiring stories of prehistoric Earth are unfolding at Mosh. Uh, these are huge animatronic dinosaurs. I love it. So the kids are going to love it. It's only $6 for kids, $10 for adults. But if you want to spend one of these days on your holiday weekend over there, Mosh is the perfect place to do it. You can go to the Mosh org for details they and tickets. Incredible things over there. They, they do, really and do. it's such a cool venue. Oh. And when you bring kids over there, especially with the dinosaurs, they're going to freak out and have a good time. So little kids love. I it. kept seeing pictures the other day where the dinosaurs were being delivered to Mosh, so people were taking pictures oh, of the dinosaurs cool. on the street <laughs> as they were being like, let in. They're invading Jacksonville. That's right. That's right. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So all right. Well, tell us about the 16th annual Riding into History. Okay, I found out about this a couple months ago, and it's a really cool, cool organization, mm -hmm. and it's a vintage motorcycle that are going to be set up over at, uh, what's it called, the World Golf Village in St. Augustine, Florida. You can head over there. Over 300 different vintage motorcycles are set up, and uh, you get to walk around and be in awe of these awesome, awesome motorcycles, but it's all for a great cause. Canines for Warriors is their foundation, so you can go there and pay $10. Last year, over $40,000 was raised for this, and this year, the Weaver Foundation has said that they will match whatever oh. goes. Wow, that's so, going to end up being 80 if they did, even they did the numbers they did last that's year. That's right. It's awesome. So cool. So ridinginthehistory.org is where you can get details. So if you're a motorcycle person or you're out and about on this beautiful weekend, stop by there, do something for a great cause, and uh, it's still going to be cool. All right, to see. So what about but, some specific Memorial Day weekends? That's right. This is going to be really cool. This is on Sunday over in Memorial Park. I am going to be your master of ceremonies. So oh, that's right. Yay. So I will be over there. Uh, the Memorial Day weekend concert commemorating our fallen heroes. So if you want to uh, get in that spirit of Memorial Day weekend, we're going to be doing that over uh, at Memorial Park, like I said. Uh, at 4 o'clock, it kicks off, and there's a 35-piece band that's going to be playing, the Navy band that's going to be playing St. John's River in the background. It'll be beautiful. Bring blankets, sunscreen, and have a good time with us on Sunday. You got, Starts good, at four. You got hooked up with a good gig for that. That's right. We're in good hands. All right, awesome. so finally, you got Rock on the River. We're yeah, going to wrap up with this Speed one. this one up. On Monday, Memorial Day, you can head over to the Jacksonville Landing. This is my kind of music, Rock on the River. Uh, you can go to X1029 to get details. A bunch of bands are going to be playing. Starts at 2 o'clock. Free show. Go to JacksonvilleLanding.com for details. Awesome. Thank yeah. you, Matt. Thanks, you can Matt. Yep. Check out Matt about Jax on the Florida Times Union website, which is jacksonville.com. Uh, you're all in the know now. <laughs>